Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss a set associative mapping question from GATE 2018 which is a formula based question. Now when I say formula based what do I mean by that? I mean that they have not exactly given you the numerical values uh, by which you have to solve the numerical they are they are, uh, they have given some uh, general values in the form of some notation and you need to give an expression or formula at the end or as your result okay so that is when I, uh, that is what is meant by formula based or uh, notation based question and now let's see what the question was and how do we solve this so this is very simple question once you just solve it in the same manner as you solve for the numericals you can easily get to the answer so let's see what the question is the question says that uh, the size of a physical address space of a processor is 2 to power, uh, 2 to p bytes so 2 to power p bytes the word length is 2 to power w bytes the capacity of cache memory is 2 to power n bytes the size of each cache block is 2 to power m words. For a k-associative cache memory, the length in brackets that's written in number of bits of the tag field is. So basically nothing new. They have just asked about the number of bits that will be required to represent the tag field. So in the same manner as we solve the other questions, first we are going to jot down the given things and then we are going to solve the question. So here I have written the physical address space as it was given 2 to power p bytes. This basically means that we need p bits to represent it. Okay. Then similarly the word size is 2 to power w bytes and cache size is 2 to power n bytes. Now, similarly cache block size is given as 2 to power m words. Now uh, just uh, note down here that this is in words. So therefore we need to convert it into bytes. So for that we will multiply it with this word size and what we get over here is 2 to power m into 2 to power w from here. So uh, when you multiply it according to the exponential law, uh, exponential, sorry, exponential law, the exponents get added. So this comes out to be m plus w. So therefore, this is 2 to power m plus w bytes. Now, after this, now after this, we have the cache block size and we also have the cache size. So what's the next step in the set associative memory types of miracle? You find out the number of blocks present in the cache. So that is what I've done over here. Number of blocks in cache will be total cache size, which is 2 to power n upon cache block size, which is 2 to power m plus w. Now, again, using the exponential uh, denominator or difference law, uh, when the two exponents are basically divided, their powers get subtracted. So n minus m plus w. So this was in brackets. Uh, solving out this comes out to be this. Then it is also given as that it is a k associative set, uh, kv set associative memory. Now since it is kv set associative memory, so therefore the number of sets when we find out we solve it like total number of blocks upon k. So that is what I've done over here. Total number of blocks is it, which is 2 to power n minus m minus w upon k. Now therefore bits used which will be required to represent these sets will be log 2 and log, uh, log base 2 uh, of this entire expression. So that is what I've wrote, uh, written over here. Now solving this out again you will have uh, you'll be using the log notation rule. So log of, uh, you should be knowing that log of A by B is equals to log of A minus log of B. So I have just used this rule over here to simplify this expression. And so this becomes log 2, 2 to power N minus M minus W minus log 2K. So log base 2K. And then uh, this basically is in the power. So this comes out over here. Okay. And log 2 base 2 becomes 1. So this is basically n minus m minus w dot 1. Okay. So which is n minus m minus w. And minus log 2 k from here. Log k base 2 from here. 
okay so these are the bits that will be required to represent sets now final step we represent our expression like this basically our uh, we have our addresses as tag then set and then offset we know that offset comes from the number of bits required to represent the blocks so over here number of blocks were n minus m minus uh, 2 to power n minus m minus w so the number of bits that will be required to represent them will be n minus m minus w bits so that is what i've written over here so now when we write these entire things when you fill up these entire things over here uh, what do we have we have m plus w sorry we have m plus w for our offset and then we have n minus m minus w minus k uh, minus log k base 2 from here okay and tag bit, tag bits we don't know and also we knew over here in the beginning they had said that p is what is the physical address space is 2 to power p bytes so we have p bits for representing this okay so over here when we write this so the tag bits will be what tag bits will be p okay p minus this entire thing and minus this entire thing so that is what i've written over here p minus n minus m minus w minus minus plus log k base 2 minus m plus w when you when you solve this out it comes out to be p minus n plus log k base 2 which is the option b in our case in this set now this may vary upon depending upon your set so but over here this is this option p minus n plus log k base 2 so i'll just project it over here if you want to see the simplifications so yes that's all for this current video i hope this uh, did help you in some manner and uh, I'll be bringing up some more videos of previous year gate questions. And um, in case you want me to discuss some more or some specific ones, you can please post them in the comment section below. So keep practicing. Thank you. Hello friends. Thank you all for the wonderful support that you provide to my videos and our channel. Also, uh, if you would like me to discuss any important concept, any important question, you are please free and welcome to post them in, in the comment section below. Also, if you'd like to like the video, please support it by pressing the like icon below and sharing it as much as possible. If you're the one who have uh, been to my channel, who are new to my channel, and who has seen the video for the first time and would like to see more of such videos please press the subscribe icon below and also this bell icon which helps you keep notified with my latest videos also in the times of covid i would wish you a very healthy and safe uh, journey towards the health uh, towards the cure also in these times of covid i hope you all are taking all the necessary precautions and keeping yourself safe remember that health come health comes first and it is only the factor which helps you perform your other tasks so stay safe stay healthy keep learning keep practicing stay tuned thank you